Hi guys and welcome to another quick technical Wednesday rundown here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to talk all about the copyright system in your IPTC core system in Bridge and also integrate that in Photo Downloader via Bridge so the next time when you import your images via Photo Downloader you are able to just hit one small switch in the metadata area and you are able to import your images with all of your copyright system already no need to do it afterwards or anything else now for those of you who haven't watched the tutorial how to import your images with a Photo Downloader please view on the Kiki blog or on my Manny Photography blog a few weeks ago we did a tutorial about how to import your images with photo downloader. Now to get back to today's tutorial let's get started with the copyright system. So I'm going to go down and open my bridge and in bridge I'm currently in my folder already that I selected with all of my images. We used these images already so no means this is no tutorial for skin retouch or anything this is just to show you guys how to do the copyright system in your IPTC core system. Now let's get started with that and first thing that I'm going to do I'm in my folder now Preview is on and I've got everything set it to my own workspace. What I'm going to do now at the top here is go take that small arrow and I'm going to say metadata just to say to, to show you guys actually a little bit easier. Alright, on the first side in the content area I've got my thumbnails, then I've got the info, the file name, then date created, size, type, rating, label, keywords and so on. Down here I'm able to make it a bit bigger or smaller. I'm going to keep it very small for today so I can show you guys on all, all of these images. So last time I'm going to select the first one and just to show you guys again rating and label that's what we talked about last week in the tutorial if you have your stuff rated with stars you are able to see the stars here or if you have a label you would be able to see your stuff as well with the labels here and keywords obviously if you work with keywords so today I want to show you guys how to integrate this the uh, copyright system and how I'm going to do that so on the side here in my meet other metadata area plus filter and export on the metadata you will see file properties IPTC core camera data audio video DICOM mobile SWF and so on never play with that but what I want to show you guys in the IPTC core area I'm going to click on the small area here and in here I've got all my copyright system now it will say under creator my name city Cape Town country South Africa it will say my email website date created if you want you can fill out everything that we what we're going to do that in a minute then copyright notice many photography CC and copyright status copyrighted now this means that everything will be copyrighted all of these images are copyrighted now so if someone steals it nobody can really take it away from you or you will always have your stuff safe because it's copyrighted and you can sue people in this is just for if people steal your stuff. Even if you pass on raw, dat uh, raw data or the raw image, it will also be saved and with normal images e as well. Now in this thing, how are you going to add this or how are you going to change this if it's not saying this in yours? Either you are able to do it via this area over here, you have to select your image to actually change it. Now you either have to select all images and you can change it down here. Now how to do that is you either select the first one and hold shift select the last one and you selected all of these images. Or what I mostly do is hit command or A and for the Windows guys control A and you will select all images from the whole shooting. Now you've selected everything and you're able to just go into your IPTC core settings over here on the left hand side and when you see the pen on the right hand side you can click on that and it will directly take you in the text area so I'm just going to rename quickly my creator name which is Manfred type it small letters it's Werner like that and you are able to edit everything in here now that is one way of doing it if you're gonna hit the small tick here at the bottom apply then it applies obviously these settings and you're good to go directly you see uh, bridge rendering everything now that is one way of doing it or you can directly go onto your images hit right click and go all the way down to file info select file info and directly you will be taken to another new window which is just more user friendly and easier to see so under descriptions you are also able to add the author's name author title and everything copyright status that was most important for me copyright copyright noticed and my author's name here at the top and under IPTC obviously creator 
then city, South Africa for your country, email and website. Then also IPTC extensions, never play with that. Camera data where you see your shutters, apertures, f-stops and everything. Then plus an ISO, plus video data, audio data, mobile, SWF, never play with that. Then I'll go back to description and I will save it. So I'm going to do just hit OK. I go back to description, hit OK. And all of these uh, copyright system or copyright stuff will be safe for this whole bunch that you've just selected. So if you have images already on your computer and you have never did your copyright on that, go ahead and select all of them and just do a bunch really setting or bunch copyright setting and just do all of them to your copyright stuff. But now if you import it the next time with photo downloader, you want to directly add the stuff into your images so you don't want to sit and do this afterwards, right? So what you will have to do is go here to the top and select, oh before we even do that we have to set up a template so that we can say in photo downloader get that template and then you just import it with that. So what the first step will be is go to tools and under tools you will say create metadata template or if you have one already you can edit that metadata template like I do have two ready but I'm going to do a third one now create metadata template select that and in here this is important now you will it will most probably look like this it's a whole new window and in here at the top you will say Manny for my name now you can rename it to anything you like to I'm going to rename mine to Manny Photography copyright okay copyright then choose the metadata to include in this template so what I want to do is under IPTC core template I want to select that small error tick that off and you can if you want to tick all of these boxes or if you don't have them you can just select some of them but I'm just going to select all of them so I'm sure everything is included now if you want to you can also add all of these like job title you can fill in all these empty spaces and you just need to do this once. So once you hit save, this template will always, always, always be saved. So if you in photo downloader, select that template and you will always have all of this stuff added to your images. So that's one way of doing it, which is way, way quicker than rather doing it afterwards in bridge one for one. So I'm going to minimize that again in IPTC extensions, also going to select that. I don't really have a lot of in here, so I can just select that again, minimize that, and I mostly use the IPTC core. Done with that, and only the last thing I have to do is hit save. Say so yes, the template already exists. Okay, I'm going to override or replace that. Yes. For you, for your tutorial, we'll just most probably say it's a new one. So just hit save and you're good to go. Now you set it everything up and everything is good to go. The last step you will have to do if the next time you import an image and or your photos and your photo downloader opens the only thing you'll have to do maybe your photo downloader looks like this if you're new to photo downloader go to advanced dialog down here select that and in the photo downloader on the right hand side at the bottom fill in everything that you want to and apply metadata that's important now under here set template to use you will have to select the template that we just created otherwise your copyright stuff will not be with your images so select the copyright or the metad uh, metadata template that you want I'm going to say many photography copyright and then obviously get photos then your imp images will be imported with all of these copyright system and you've got everything in your folders and once you've got it in your folder then you are able to hit any image that you want to and you will directly see in under your IPTC core stuff your copyright stuff so if you render it if you send it to client everything all the time your IPTC core your copyright stuff will be always with this image this is very important for us if people steal it or if something happens to your image and you are actually violated so I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit thank you for watching I will post another new tutorial next week on a new Technic Wednesday Rundown. Thanks for watching. My name is Manny and see you guys next week. Bye-bye.